I'm next. Paige Thatcher? Are you going to have me read or sing first? Well, I'm not sure. But if you relax, you do a better job at both. <laughs> no, um, the reason I'm asking is I brought someone to accompany me, and if I sing first, um, she doesn't have to sit through my reading. Okay, well, we'll do the singing first, then. Libby Thatcher, Mr. Purnell. Oh. Are you two sisters? No, she's my mother. You look much too young to be her mother. <laughs> no, she's my, my stepmother. Too bad, too. If she were my birth mother, I'm sure I'd sing a whole lot better. You sing fine. Oh, do you sing, Mrs. Thatcher? I used to. Well, you look familiar. Might I know you? No, I don't think so. Wait a minute. Yes! Dean! Aren't you Libby Dean? That was her stage name. You know, there's a role in this musical you might be right for. In case you hadn't noticed, Mr. Parnell, I'm pregnant. So you missed a few rehearsals. Thanks, but I'm really not interested in trying out. Oh, come on, it might be fun. You don't have to give up acting and singing just because you have a family, Mrs. Thatcher. He's right. So a woman of my talent shouldn't be wasting herself on her kids, is that it? I didn't say that. It's not that I don't work, because I do. But not in the theater. Does that make it any less important? Libby. Paige, Mr. Parnell remembers my performance in West Side Story because he starred opposite me. But I wasn't nearly as good. 